very special kind of funny live reaction. This one is a little bit weird. We're reacting to the Marvel Studios 2022 San Diego Comic-Con animation panel. Uh, they're not streaming it, so we're just going to be reacting to the news as it comes in. We have a bunch of Twitter feeds of people that are in the room down in sunny San Diego. We're going to be seeing as the announcements come in, what's going on there, what Marvel Studios themselves post. There's been a whole bunch of just things leaking out left and right and all this stuff. We're going to be talking about it all. We're doing it for the animation panel today, and then tomorrow we'll be back for the live action Marvel Studios panel that they are going to do in Hall H. That definitely will not be streamed, but we'll be doing the same thing as we're doing here. I'm Tim Geddes. I'm joined by the Nitro Rifle Andy Cortez. Great morning. Great morning to you as well. The producer slash seducer Nick Scarpino. Excels here, Tim. Excels here. And the big daddy himself, Greg Miller, with some fantastic hair right now. Thank you. Oh Let's get droop. I, a good little, uh, yeah. Whenever yeah, the hair's yeah. like that, Greg, I just think Superman. Superman. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good because in the last 10 minutes or so, a bunch of trademarks for Marvel Studios leaked. All right. I'm telling all y'all right now that we're going all in. We're having the Comic-Con experience that we used to have back at IGN in the war room. Things are happening. We don't get to see them. I'll never forget Greg Miller sitting on the, the desk live as the Batman v Superman trailer happened that he didn't get to see live. But there was all the leaked footage coming on of, of videos and my, stuff. Came in my IFB. We're like, they were like, we need you to talk about Batman v Superman vamp for 30 minutes. And I was like, this is the moment I've been waiting for. <laughs> yes. This is, what we're so happy. For. this is why we train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So people say that's where about, the industry changed. <laughs> that was that worst. was the moment. But I got some fun shit to talk to you guys about right now. So I'm about to drop some shit on you. Some trademarks yeah, for some upcoming shit. projects just came out officially from Marvel. They, these things sometimes they don't end up going exactly as they're said here. But sure, we have five different trademarks for some live action projects, not animated projects that I want to run by you right now. Ant Man meets the Ghostbusters. The overall saga, that. Where there was the Infinity Saga, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. we, we've been talking about what we thought this one might be. Anyone have any guesses? Uh, Secret Wars? Yeah, Secret to the Wars. Saga, to the saga, the oh, overall saga. Secret no Saga. Idea. The multiverse saga. The multiverse oh, saga, right? Okay. It's mm -hmm. the most, yeah, that's exactly what we expected, but that seems like what it is. The new Captain America movie, potentially called Captain America New World Order. No, 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 Greg, right here. Greg, right here. A little too oh, sweet. sweet. <laughs> Come on. Uh, walked right into that one, Marvel. <laughs> Damn, that is amazing. Jeff, Gr Jeff Grubb in the chat just says, within arm's reach. <laughs> no, like, that was incredible, Greg. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. Please that's tell me they named it when they trademarked order. a Watto movie. Because I'm ready. You got it. That's, that's so funny. Um, Zio VGM in the chat says, New World Order was the name of the first episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier. So I'm doubting whether or not these are legit. Yeah, I don't know. I, these are coming through and there's enough evidence that I'm like, things in the past have leaked in this way and we're legit. So we're just having fun here. It's Comic-Con, baby. That's a cool uh, name. This, uh, it would be a cool name. Captain America, New World Order. That's the next badass. one, a movie. Thunderbolts. Mm. Thunderbolts. They've been building towards it for a long time. It they would make a lot that. of sense. And then not one, but two Avengers movies. What one, are they called? Avengers Secret Wars. Yeah. Nice. And two, Avengers The Kang Dynasty. Oh. Whoa. That's wow. interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this well, could be pretty cool. It's interesting because I feel like after Loki ended, I felt like Kang was going to be in every show and was going to be the focus point. It was going to be named in all these different things. And we just have like, we're not going to see him or hear him until Quantumania. And I just it's it's interesting that maybe the importance of it, much like Thanos, took a couple of movies to really get going and you start hearing about it more and more. But for a while, I feel like it was kind of being downplayed that Kang was actually going to be the big bad. Well, that's what I want, though. I want him. I want them to to treat it with respect, like Thanos. They got to set this thing up so it means something when everyone squares off against him. 
Yeah. I mean, I think that's the thing, right? They've been starting off phase four here with a bunch of the the different projects coming out. And then now Kevin Feige has been saying that like all will be told very soon about what we're building towards. So I think like once they announce that, it's like, cool. All the projects are building towards getting to those two Avengers projects similar to the Infinity Saga. And we're assuming that's tomorrow, right? Uh, so well, we, that's the thing is we have tomorrow, tomorrow potentially because we also have D23 in September. So I right now I'm kind of getting the vibe that this is really tomorrow is going to be more kind of like hearing about projects that we are aware of, like Wakanda Forever and mm-hmm. Guardians 3 and things like that with minor surprises and then T23 being everything. But uh, right now at the the panel going on for the animation thing, uh, the the panel host was saying that they're talking about the next two years of Marvel Studios animation. Um, they had Will or not Will Wright. Uh, <laughs> Will Wright, I am, but I did Sim City, and I'm up here to talk real quick about. What's We're bringing on Spore too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They they had a bunch of uh, VO going on from the the Watcher. Uh, oh, y'all Jeffrey, Wright. Watchers. Jeffrey Wright, yeah, yeah, just like me. Um, he said, as we made the first season of What If, we decided we wanted to make more. Um, so yeah, what what if season yes, two? Please make know. more. Fantastic. I love that. I know you yeah, guys were, were kind of lukewarm it, on it, but I just I I love that format. I think it's so cool. I think it's rad that it plays. Oh, I, I want more. I love it too. I just didn't I, I didn't love every episode, but I, I really appreciate it. I hope they do it. I'd love to see them get another shot at it, especially with all the feedback they got. Yeah, me too. Kev, I'm gonna send you a link to a, a website, Popverse. Um, and they're doing live coverage, so it'll be a little bit more <laughs> interesting to look at. Bam, scroll bam, down a bit. Bam. <laughs> it's all just, it's going to be in my head all day. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it, was just, it was just incredible. I'd like to think Greg like read ahead and found all the links and planned no. that, but he didn't. That was just no. the sheer chaos that is Gregory James Miller. You know, a lot of people, and this is mainly Nick, would go mad being surrounded by all this garbage. But me, <laughs> <laughs> I thrive. I revel in it. <laughs> Nick, I'm just, just, you, no reason at all, Nick. But yeah, let me see if it. You can set me up. Like, guys, I got to go. <laughs> why is, set why me up at some point to run to the airport. I got two suitcases. Are, right yeah, are set them up. Unpacked? Man. I fantasize about sneaking into that room and cleaning shit up sometimes, just throwing stuff out when he's not paying attention. I I have dreams about that. What's this website, Tim? Uzpoppers.com. This is is like where you wanted me to be at? Yeah, and then just refresh this every once in a while, and then as the coverage comes in. Again, I was saying this before we went live, but this is how people used to have to learn about the new hot video games at e3 there weren't video feeds and all this shit you're just sitting here refreshing and hoping people have updates this is how i learned about like kevin this is how i learned about the new pixel stuff (laughs) that google's putting out or like the new apple products exactly god things have improved so much you know a lot of people say bad system (laughs) it is i really wish they would get their shit together and stream everything yeah it's definitely a bummer especially for this one too so they're gonna do an i am group trailer cool (laughs) yeah well, they confirmed yesterday that uh, Bradley Cooper returning as Rocket's voice and I am Groot. Very cool. And uh, Vin Diesel. Yeah, what's Naturally. the deal with Bradley Cooper? You know what I mean? You feel like all the Guardians are so close. No one ever talks about Bradley Cooper. He's never, never there. there. Wasn't there? Well, wouldn't you want to be there? Wouldn't you want to be there, Nick? Wouldn't you Bradley go there Cooper. and be there? He's making Academy Award winning movies. He's hanging out with Lady Gaga's of the world. He doesn't really care. I, f- I feel like <laughs> I if Bradley him. Cooper, if, if Bradley Cooper had it his way. People wouldn't even know he was the voice. Like he'd prefer to just not to be like uncredited. You know, I feel. I don't think that's true at all. Yeah, I don't think that's oh, true at all. Why would you say that? The I am Groot trailer is up. <laughs> Kev, I'm gonna send you that. <laughs> oh. We're having fun today, kids. God bless it. God bless everyone. Uh, all right. I'm ordering pizzas to each and every one of your house. Oh right god. Now. Oh, that dude, I, I got pizza the other day from Goya. Or something. What's that? Or it's something. G O I O A or something. It is really damn good. You should give it a shot. Um. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Are you guys okay watching it this format, or do you want me to switch yeah. it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is totally fine. fine. Keep it. Okay. Yeah, let me know when we're live. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old. It's a good game. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. I am blue. I love this. 
<laughs> this is weird. I love this. This is wild. I'm is. all about it. <gasps> oh, oh no. Uh, I'm chance. in. <laughs> Wait, did you say Vin Diesel's back? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course he is. You can't do this character without him. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this? Is awesome. <laughs> Original shorts streaming on August 10th. So it's like, so it's not in the show necessarily. It's shorts. Yeah, no, Disney Plus has been doing this a lot with um, Pixar properties mainly. Mm -hmm. Like there was Doug from Up the Dog and uh, Baymax yeah. just got a series mm -hmm. that are like just kind of like these little shorts and they, oh. they drop all at once. So I imagine cool. all five of these shorts will be on August 10th. This is rad. I love it. I love the style of this. I love the the vibe of it. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's the Discord feed, but it kind of looked like stop motion in a it way. Did like, at first. It looked like it was filmed in a way that's supposed to look like a slower frame rate, which yeah. looked kind of neat. Yeah, it's interesting that for the animation. I mean, first off, the fact that they're even doing animation separate from live action, I think is a really good call because uh, like they just have so much shit between the movies, the TV shows and then animated as well. Um, but it's cool that animation doesn't just need to be what we think of like things like what if, but it can also just straight up be like CG, like we're used to Groot looking like. And it's cool that, that the formats don't have to necessarily be so stringent either, right? Like that's one of the things I love about like what if being slightly shorter, but this looks, I mean, how long are these going to be? Do we know each short? I, how long are the shorts usually like five minutes? Yeah, like five to 10 minutes yeah. max. Or if, if No, not even 10, like three to seven minutes probably each. Yeah, fun. Why not? That's awesome. I mean, I love that they have the resources to be able to do that and obviously keep the characters alive in some way. I think it's super cool. And and uh, when you're dealing with something that's only five minutes long, you can kind of have a little bit more fun as long as, you know, it doesn't have to be so so impactful to the overarching uh, uh, timeline of, of all the of all the Marvel I'll, stuff. I'll say this, though, Tim. I don't know if I could talk about a three to seven minute short for 40 minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know oh, we'll if I could put that in we'll me. There's, there's three of them at least. So. The, oh, okay. Well, it, all five are on the same day. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we, we will be doing an I am Groot in review. That's a single sitting against everything else. Will this it be number awesome. one on MCU in review? We'll, we'll have yeah. to see, man. These little dudes with the guns are getting me going. That fart joke divisive here. Kind of funny. Kevin, like, oh, no. Nick, like, oh, yeah. Well, I think it paid <laughs> off, though. At first, it's just fart. a fart. And you're like, what is this going to be? And then they start eating the fart. You're like, I love fart, fart eaters. Yeah, I, I love the think... old lady one. For, I mean, the I old lady guys... thing. What, I was going to say, I don't think you guys understand, like, what, like, he didn't fart out the leaf. He, I think he farted he, and the leaf fell off. Oh, I thought he like, sharted oh, the he leaf. Farted. I think he sharted it out. I think so he you think they're out. just eating his poop? Yeah. Let's rewind. We're getting a rewind theater, everybody. Yeah. Frame wow. by frame. I Roll think back that what happened was, asshole. you know how sometimes when you're a little Jesus drunk in Christ, Vegas and you've had a little too much carne asada and you just kind of let one go in the casino and then you get more than you bargained for, you hit the jackpot, some would say. I think that's what's happened here. Kevin, right. can we get a can we get a rewind and then a 0.5 speed? Thank you. <laughs> I yeah, all right, you're right. Because yeah. he doesn't Definitely. have any leaves on him otherwise. He just no, kept no, he does. Really he, wrong he's about got him on his arm and stuff. He didn't fart it out. It was probably on his butt. And when he oh, farted, that was oh, like, you a pizza it. bet right now that that is definitely coming out of his asshole. Little dingleberry. Can we can we tweet at Kevin Feige and ask him if it came out of the chooch hole, the tutu? Like, look, Damn. he's, the see, he's hole. got he's the got hole. leaves all over the place. He got yeah, look at how small out of his they are hole. compared to the one that just pooped out of him. <laughs> the poop group. I don't like how <laughs> I, don't, I don't like how goddamn cute these little aliens are <laughs> eating his little poop group. They're really but cute. look how nice that's rendered though. Yeah, yeah. it's, really, it's really well rendered. Well, when you like, like, five minutes, tilt shift. Scattering. It's the tilt shift that makes them look so tiny. They, they, they do it's, such it's, a great yeah, job with that. Good perspective. I love them with the guns. Well, he's in his jammies. This little yeah. onesie there. Also, did we get the frame by frame in the slow motion on that? I don't know, Kevin. Did we? I don't think we ever did, but it's, it's quite um, right. No, I mean it I was do... clear. It was clear when assessing it afterwards. It's like, oh, oh okay. Greg was right. I'll but admit is, to it. This is Groot from a long time ago, though, right? Yeah, he's a teenager now, right? No, yeah, I don't. yeah, it's baby Groot time. So that's I, interesting. I love it. Yeah, Kev, can you actually go back to what is that ship? Is that uh, that looks like nowhere, right? That's, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Which would be interesting. I wonder if there's going to be any like nods in this or if it's all just going to be oh, no, the that doesn't fun look stuff like that's not it looks nowhere like something else it looks like a giant that gun. looks like 
It looks like one of the uh, what you call it ships. One of the scavengers, right? Yeah. Ravagers. Ravagers. Oh. It, it honestly yeah. looks like Star Lord's pistols. <laughs> yeah, that's it what I was that's saying. What it's like it was a weapon. Um, I I hope it doesn't have any ties. I don't want anything. I just I just need it to be silly and stupid, and they crash land on a thing, or he gets accidentally uh evacuated from a ship and like shipped off Blown somewhere to airlock yeah. yeah oh that would be great that would be awesome if he's just trying to figure out his way home while they like are waiting and trying to stay alive the um at the panel right now they they showed one of the shorts Groot takes a bath <laughs> so, perfect yeah i'm in why not and bradley rocket was in that one I love this that these talking. just sound like Ernest goes to camp. <laughs> yeah, but this is what I'm talking about, man. I I love that they're they're playing around with this. It's very much like the Star Wars Vision stuff, where I'm just have some fun for Christ's sake. Let's how just good make was Star Wars stuff. Visions? It's it's awesome. Lord, so I love that format. Man. How good was the Vision in Solo? You know, <laughs> he was really good. Yeah. Paul Bettany, great actor, man underutilized Jitch in that movie, unfortunately. Cool cape. I've had, though. I've had enough of Groot. I'm done with him. You've had enough of Groot. I'm tired of them. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap on Groot for me. <laughs> You're supposed to clap when you. Oh, look on the on the Pop First website. It says there were many laughs from this warm audience. All paid actors, right? You hate to Probably. see it. The Marvel shills just showing up. The real question is, how do we become those shills? I more than happily. <laughs> yeah, hate dude, my well, I mean. Greg, you said you got invited. You couldn't transfer that over to someone else so that we yeah. could not how it works. be calling. I mean, I, I got it. I, I was going to go to Comic Con and oh, host Jesus something. Christ. Yeah. Jesus yeah. I was going to. And then the COVID got me. Comic Con. Oh, so you didn't actually get invited to this event? No, I never. I, I never said that. That's your misinterpretation. Well, I mean, I feel like implications. Tim, I think implications are made. You got invited to the broader event of Comic Con. I had to take it to Comic Con. We're talking about Spider Man freshman year right now. They showed off the first design of Peter Parker. It will have not have co inspired. Does it look Ooh. like? Is it fresh? Did they say that, school? Andy? That's been confirmed um, before this, yeah. Th- yeah, that's been confirmed before this. God, I hope it just looks. It like hasn't been confirmed, man. It was just talked okay, about. Okay, fine. It was out on the internet, but not an official capacity. Uh, so Marvel just announced Marvel Studios Spider-Man Freshman Year and Original Series streaming on Disney Plus 2024. Oh, that seems far away. Probably dead that's a me. long time away. What right? the fuck? <laughs> I like that's, that though. I like that they're I actually feel, planning that far ahead. <laughs> it's I feel nice. like that might be a show that's already been done and filmed and like, or just animated. It's all, it's just in the bank and they're, they're like, all right, let's, it. Just, let's just save it. That's a long time. That's kind of wild. I would I not have expected they, that. I think they just need to rescan Ultimate Spider Man, which is the, uh, I hate you so much. <laughs> the best Maybe. animated Spider Man show ever. New design for Harry Osborne, image to come. Kev, I'm going to slack you a uh, link. I'm Harry, Harry Osborn. Osborn. Harry Osborn. Harry Osborn. His hair in the in the Spider Man series, the '90s Spider Man series, always freaked me out because it was like tiger striped. Yeah, it was, supposed it to be was like weird, red, but it looked weird. I, I didn't understand it. And I didn't it, understand like, it. Me. Oh, that's awesome. Mm, oh, I love cool. this style. That was really cool style. That's, that's really good. That didn't is we so see this school. this style before? I thought we had gotten hints of like what he looks like. I, Just yeah, I, there was like a one of those like yeah wire work pretty. animations of him. So really concept cool. art. Wow, that's awesome. That's badass. Wait, it's is this supposed to be the suit like a precursor to the suit he's wearing? Because it looks like the helmet looks like uh more of like the Stark Tech. Like his eyes. I think it looks like a ski mask with then just goggles over it. Yeah, but like yeah. the goggles in the movie, like the first movie. Yeah, they were like welding the, goggles. You know, yeah. So it's interesting that these are they're gonna put, I'm sure they'll have some liberties here. They gotta sell some Funko Pops off this. They can't give us the exact same thing, you know? Mm. Greg, do you think we get a little... Oh, that'd be so sick. I don't think, they, I don't think we will. You don't I think, think so? Do. No. Wow. Spider-Verse. I think we get it in Spider-Verse. Oh, I hope so. It just proves, once again, we knocked it out of the park in the 90s, Greg. <laughs> yeah. We really did. Everything's been downhill since. It's all really. been downhill. Thanks, since, Nick. Thanks yeah. for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> you and Greg both knocked it out of the. We park. just did, man. As the eldest here, we just we really represented it. We crushed it. We did a lot of great work out there. Baggy jeans are back. Come on, these kids are all acting like this is the new thing. Like yeah, we did that in, in the nineties. Now here's a great question from Corey Cudney. Greg, do we get an Avengers skin for this or what? 
I wouldn't hold your breath that Avengers is still making content in 2024, but if it is, <laughs> then yeah, for sure. You, you for sure. That's, that's a long shot. So they announced that uh, all the shorts for I'm Groot are going to drop at once for this wave of them. But if I'm understanding this correctly, there's going to be five additional ones added later. Um, and for Spider-Man freshman year, Kev, there's another picture I'm going to send to you. Okay, send it to me. Um, I think that following BD's Twitter might be the best. He seems to be. BD Wong? Wong? The only motherfucker that understands what people want to see. Uh, Spider-Man freshman year will include Nico Minuro of The Runaways, Lonnie Lincoln, Am- Amadeus Cho, Harry Osborn, and more. Uh, Lonnie Lincoln. Before Captain Amadeus. America Civil War. Amadeus. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Yeah, Amadeus Cho, which name. is really cool because that's more uh, Young Avengers build up. So this officially confirms that Amadeus Cho isn't the the teacher, right? The, the teacher. yeah, in the in the oh, so let's go back in time a lot. In Hulk, there was the student that lets him in with the they like takes the free pizza. Yeah, and like in the credits, he was credited as uh, Amadeus Cho, and that is the teacher in the Peter's high school. Like it's the same actor. Whoa. I, so it was like I think you're mixing, right. you're combining a couple things there, Kev. I don't think that he was credited as that. I mean, I've got the fandom page open right here. You know How about that. That he was credited as that. That sounds wrong. Uh, I mean, maybe he was. Maybe it was just computer nerd, and that was just rumored that it was Amadeus Cho. Are you talking about Martin Starr? Wait, I'm not talking about Martin Star. Yeah, Martin. Starr. I know we're yeah, getting in the weeds here on this, and we can figure that out in a second. So this will be this is canon, right? Yeah. Um, so this is gonna. They're introducing Harry Osborn this way. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's pre in pre Civil War time. So, wonder how that's all going to go. Chat's popping off about Daredevil too. Is that true? Ooh. I mean, it looks like it looks like Peter is dressed like pre Civil War, like the actual Civil War. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Rachel Page, Rachel Page from Marvel dot uh, com is, is uh, confirming that Daredevil's in this, and he's voiced by Charlie Cox. Yeah, wow. Kev. Scroll up to BD's new Cox. tweet. We get a picture of Daredevil. Whoa. That's oh. sick. I that love it. Badass. Oh, that's so cool. Good for Charlie Cox, man. That first season, that first couple seasons of Daredevil were dope on Netflix. And then the last two were awful. No, well, then they did the then they did the not no. like tomorrow. What was the other yeah. one? The um I thought, I thought was the, the third was good. Daredevil yeah, Daredevil yeah, one do. amazing. Two half of two was weeks, so, yeah, exactly. Weeks yeah. off and a half, and then better in the second half, and then, and then three, three was three great brought it back. With the, it was the Punisher Bullseye? series, right? Bullseye, yeah, three was, was Bullseye. awesome. Which one? When would when did John Berthold come in as Punisher? Remember, because that second season one. two second. that was badass. I love. I'll never forget that scene where he goes. Let me tell you You're something, a, Daredevil. He's like, Let me tell you, bro. <laughs> no, he came in. Remember, he called him a half measure. What a what a great thing to call someone. You're a half yeah. measure. That's so dope. I put a lot of stuff in this animated series. Tell you what, that John Bernthal in, will be uh, one of the villains and Doctor Strange and Scorpion and Tarantula and Rhino. They got a Tarantula in Spider Man. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Highly yeah. deadly black Tarantula. Some more snow bike Mike perked up. Her daylight. So you think you think that Scorpion, mm-hmm. like when he sees him on on the the boat, he was like, "Oh, I know that's good Spider Man kid. Uh, I'm gonna get." Out. I guess he does get out, right, or tries to get out. Yeah, it's going to be interesting how they play with this with canon in the MCU uh, for multiple reasons. One, it like these characters being Sony characters from the Sony Marvel partnership side, but then also just they're playing with a lot of characters that they just named that yeah. we know what kind of happens to some of them. So that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Also, this universe is going to have its own Doc Ock, huh? And it's just going to be, I want, yeah, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, it's just like I'm like thinking of the repercussions because like he meets Doc Ock later and he's all like confused about it. So you have to imagine he's not gonna like look like that Doc Ock, right? You hope so. Yeah. Sorry, what got like me it. laughing and I retweeted it here was a, a hard a tweet from Hard Drive. Controversial Spider Man No Way Home deleted scene shows all the Uncle Ben's rotting in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, 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 Peter. Peter. I'll send it to you, Nick. I'll send it to Kevin. Uh, so you can throw it up. Peter. Peter. <laughs> Peter. Hey, they also announced that they're going to do a sophomore year. Yeah. So it'll be a multi season thing. This is breaking off into its own universe. I don't buy it. This is a mul- This isn't MCU anymore. Yeah. I, I think, well, I don't know. That sounds like. We're showing this. Is this real? This villains thing? Doc Ock looks so classic. Awesome. Awesome. 
I love that look. Look at Trangela. that. Like, this, this, you know what these remind me of? 1980s toys. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're going to be a lot of 1980s style toys coming back, Nick. Oh, man. I can't wait. I love it. It's my Who's Tarantula? I, I just said that, Andy, because I thought it'd be funny. I don't know. <laughs> so it's, no idea who Tarantula could no be. No idea. No idea. None of them embody Tarantula. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great tweet, Greg. It's a great tweet. Oh God. This is hilarious. Oh my God. <laughs> Who do you think so this good. guy is with the braces? You think it's like Brace their fish. version of Forrest Gump? But Where, like which guy with the braces? Yeah, I can't see what you're. I don't know which one to. has braces. He's got legs braces. Leg braces. Sorry. Oh, oh, leg braces. I, I pointed with the mouse, but the mouse is not being captured. That's my bad, guys. All the way Second the from right. the right? Yeah, yeah, the blonde looks like guy looks like Tim. To me. Uh, yeah, Cyclops. it does look yeah, like Cyclops. Yeah, with the blonde hair, right. massively <laughs> blonde, just weave a hair on his head, just Tim. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else they got here. So saying here, so the villains include unicorn, chameleon, scorpion, speed demon, tarantula, rhino, and Doc Ock, Doctor Strange, and Daredevil. That's uh, all a Noah's Ark. Is that what they're called? <laughs> Uh, and Spider-Man will be wearing a wide variety of suits, including a beetle suit and an Osborne created one. Mm. You think that woman on the left is the rhino? She's got a, like a the, weird the big head dude's thing. probably the rhino with the fire on the right. Oh, the on the giant right. guy that's like eight feet tall with the tattoos. He might be Hammerhead. Yeah, he looks more of a yeah. Hammerhead. That's a good call. Yeah. Oh, well, who's rhino then? Oh, far I, left, obviously. Sorry. Yeah, the right, lady. Right, right, this right, isn't right. going to be canon. Yeah. It's over. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going to be fucking MCU canon. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, maybe there's no way. Like right? a, yeah, because like, these are like dope hair. Like, well, I, you know what? Maybe there is no more Spider Man going forward. And they're just blowing the load now, right in front of all of us. You think they're done with Spider Man? That's this is a short. Well, I mean, you Sony that. hasn't, they haven't announced their new deal. There might just not be one. And they might be like, you know what? We'll sell the toys before Sony can. Exactly. The 80s toys. <sighs> Sounded very disappointed from Kevin. I mean, that's. Uh, I, I know that like this is a thing I just made up in my head right now. But, it yeah, but it's canon to you now. You know, it hurts. But it really bummed me out. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. factual. <laughs> Tim, tell me it's not possible. Tell me they're going to sort it out. I'm not, dude, anything. I don't think they fucking have it sorted out. I feel oh. like the reason they didn't announce the voice is because they're still trying to get Tom, and I don't think that's going to happen. But Oh, my God. Tom Holland, play ball, you piece of shit. You ruined Holy what if. Shit. You ruined wow. what if by not being in it. Wow. Help us out. Yeah, that was the problem yeah. you have with what if. That was <laughs> the one problem. <laughs> my problem with it was that it was nominated for an Emmy. And it's it was like a good it's, series. It's, it's, it was yeah, fun. But, like, it was but fun. did you hear Sebastian Stan? Like, come on. In the live <laughs> action, in the live action chat. In the live chat, Herbie Ergo says, "Guys, this can be canon without them having to change anything." Osborne has always been in the MCU. We saw him named an Iron Man. Uh, Herbie, sit down and shut the fuck up because that's not that even cold. what we're talking about. Doc Ock shows up, and Peter and Peter and MJ and Ned are like, "So, what are you supposed to be? Some kind of Doc Ock?" And they, they, they fucking fought Doc Ock already. Yeah, but what's we your name? Oh, I'm Doctor Octavius, uh, Otto Octavius, and they all laugh. Are they laughing because they met Otto Octavius here? They're like, oh, yeah, you don't look it doesn't like make this sense. weird pervert that we met earlier in a lab coat. Well, who's laughing now? Greg Miller busts out the NWO belt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if season two, early 2023? They're showing a trailer right now. Yeah, nobody cares about the trailer. Herbie, I love you. You know that. Mm. Yeah, you're already laughing. You're having a great time over there. That, that final episode was really cool. Hey, Andy, I have good news for you, too. Uh, What's up, Herbie, Papa? Herbie over here, the he's an OWL cool. All Access Pass from 2018. Oh, Overwatch thing. Those suits are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but again, this stuff, like, how are we going to have the Future Foundation suit? They haven't even introduced the goddamn... Tell What's me this is canon now, Herbie. What's the suit on the far right? He's a wasp. That's AIM suit. Like these, like these must be like a scene where he draws them all, right? No, no, no. These look like official. Yeah, I don't think he can. He has this capacity for art skills. 
L2 Larson says, yeah, there's no precedent for people forgetting things in Spider-Man. If he goes to Doctor Strange at the end and he's like, this has been a fun ride, Doctor Strange, but I don't want to remember freshman and sophomore year. Can you zip zap a zoopy? And he goes, sure can. Zip zap a zoopy, my brain. Thank you. Zoopy do this crap. Why did I make Doc? Why did I make Doc? I love it. A Western <laughs> Texan. Scoop and do this crap. Go ahead and scoop. I'm go ahead and scoop and do this crap. That's hilarious. King of the Hill coming back. I can't wait for that. By the way, King of the Hill is one of the best underrated like shows. Eric Goldman is surprisingly getting shaken down at Comic Con. You seen this? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Rob- like, what does that mean? Got robbed? Yeah. No, no, no. He's he's doing right now. And he, uh, he says, oh, he got told to delete photos I was taking of slides. And then he's and then he's trying to get other news in there. Lots I missed while security was all delete, delete. <laughs> Why do they even bother doing that? You have to know that everyone's, this is how this information gets out. Isn't that the like the wink, wink, like plan for all this stuff? Yeah, definitely, right? Come on, guys. You got, you got a thousand come people on. in Hall H right now, all with phones. Give them a come on, uh. Come on. Come on, come on. It's one of those things. If Kevin Feige doesn't want to share, we'll steal. All right, <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't want to have Greg to. I don't want to have to activate. Law. I don't want to have to activate <laughs> the Grappler <laughs> Army in all age, but I'll do it. All right. Activate the Grappler activate Army. The I put out one keyword. Says that. No kids. Like, what? 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 They're taking photos. This photo. is just a test. This is just a test. So, Grappler Army, if you're listening, this is just a test. What is the key word, just so we all know <laughs> when to activate, Greg? I am not going to say it because it'll be used. It'll be used. Okay. Really, cool. really like. Let me know when Follow you do it, question. though, Greg, because I, we can, yeah. we, I can get merch ready and we can really capitalize off of this. Well, first off, what I want you to know is that the other day we were lying in bed, Jen, Ben, and I, right? And uh, I was like, I was like, oh, man, we're missing such an easy Halloween costume idea here where it'll be me dressed as the Grabbler and Ben dressed as Stogie. Mm. And Jen was like, started laughing. She's like, "Who is Stogie?" And I was so offended that she didn't know <laughs> the Graveler lore. <laughs> She's like, "I know the Graveler. I've never heard of Stogie." Stogie, like, is Stogie was invented thing. the exact same time. Yeah, I love that yeah. Stogie only says Stogie. Stogie. That's my, he's like a Pokemon. On the Popverse uh, website, it's saying uh, "Kid Star Lord, Scarlet Witch, Gamora, Captain Carter, and Hela." They announced uh, what if season three is going to happen mm-hmm. as well. And uh, Captain Carter in Multiverse of Madness is confirmed as a different variant than the what if version. Yay. And yeah, 1602, which is like the Neil Gaiman universe, is going to get an episode. Which Wait, is can cool. you repeat the oh, wow. thing about the Neil Gaiman? Can you the repeat the thing about yeah, Captain Carter, Tim? Captain Carter from Multiverse of Madness is a different variant than the oh. what if version. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I yeah, hope so. Yeah. That checks out. <laughs> it's going to be a real short episode. <laughs> so they're doing so, they're doing two more seasons of What If, at least, yeah. Because this is covering the this well, panel is covering the next two years of the animated projects on Disney. Very Plus, cool. So. Very cool. So now they're talking about Marvel oh, zombies. Man. I wonder if it's going to be like What If Hela I took over Asgard. That'd, That'd be, be a better fine. place, you know. Still exist. That's yeah. for sure. Everything would be super sexy. <laughs> Andy, Blades if you had the everywhere. power to do that cool thing where she she like brushes her hair back and it turns into a cool oh, haircut, would you do it? That's so like the coolest Andy. superpower. Andy, really cool. Andy, that was really cool, Andy. Yeah. You should, if, Andy, if you get the choice, you should take that power. Oh, okay. Follow up yeah. question for Greg. Hi. How many people do you think are in the Graveler army? And I'll give you the range, like they do when you're taking like a a, a survey. Is it sure. zero to ten? Sure. Ten to twenty or twenty plus? Twenty plus. Okay. It's definitely no, one of those so. like hidden in plain sight things. You know what I mean? Mm. A lot of them aren't there by Fight choice, nor do they know they're there. It's like oh, it's very in, much uh, Manchurian oh, Candidate, Manchurian no Candidate. Okay, Barnes yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, they're the, they're the hitmen in uh, in John Wick. They're just kind of all amongst us. So you say the word Stogie and they activate. Who must no, we, take it's, pictures it's, it's, it's of something every we say all the time. You know what I mean? Stogie. So there's a picture of Doctor Strange in uh, Spider-Man: Freshman Home, and then Kev, I sent uh, another picture that. If this doesn't confirm this isn't canon, I don't know what will, but it's uh, pictures of Norman Osborn taking on the role of his mentorship. It's crazy yeah, how somebody... much he looks like from the animated, right? Yeah, in the, the chat, I thought I didn't I wasn't sure if it was a joke or not. In the chat, some in, no offense to the chat. In the chat they said that it's Norman Osborn filling in for Tony Stark as the mentor, which is clearly what that last shot was of mm. the same way he met Aunt May. Oh, 
So maybe it's a multi. It's a multiverse thing. Oh, yeah, I see what like you're saying. That's a rad. Multiverse thing. It's a multiverse thing. Greg was right. But Greg? also, like Greg they got right, a flat, everybody. They got a flat screen. They got a flat screen TV. It's like, I would have expected a tube TV. I don't know why with this style because it's the '80s. Can we talk, yeah, can we go back to that picture of uh, Doctor Strange for a second? Sure. Can we Let's talk about how about great it. Andy would look with just a mustache? Because he's mm, got no. the hair. No, but I got I've got the I've got the neck fat. I've got the, the beard hides a lot. The beard hides a lot. I feel like if you had the silver streaks on the on the left and right side of your head, you could you could pull that look off. The beard is a crutch. Thank oh, you, Bruce Green. Green. Thank you for that. Thank you for those gifted tier one subs. Appreciate that, buddy. Hell yeah. Hope you're doing well, Bruce. We no, it. I can't do the mustache. That's that's still like my territory now. I feel like we could all do mustaches. And I'll be honest with you guys, the way trends go, we need to get on this hype train like fast. Yeah. Because we're I don't want to be the guys again, not to not to criticize us, who were too late to the beard game and then all of us are just holding on to these beards for so long. We need to be the that's first fair. people that's on fair. the mustache train right now. Calling it. <laughs> but did the whole White, thing with Maverick Tim. happen with mustaches? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. See, Tim, I was gonna Greg, say you're Tim White. Right. You're right, we're, we're already late. Tim, Tim, why have they not updated what happens next after Marvel Zombies? Like, I don't know. know. We'll never <laughs> know, man. Maybe they're showing them something. Uh, Tim, uh, mm-hmm. Roger reached out and was like, hey, you should use a tweet deck for this. And I had cool. to Google what a tweet deck was. Sure. But, uh, <laughs> so I was putting that together. Is there any other things you want me to add to it? Yes, this is cool. I'm going to yeah. add you one that uh, looks to be the best right now. Marvel Zombies confirmed to be in the same world as the What If episode. Okay. Zombie Hawkeye, Captain America, he's back. Abomination, Ghost from Ant Man and the Wasp. Uh, Captain Marvel, Scarlet Witch, and Okoye confirmed. Heroes include Yelena, Katie from Shang Chi, so Aquafina's character. Oh shit! Kate Bishop, Red Guardian, Jimmy Wu, Death Dealer, Shang Chi, and Kamala Khan. Who's Death Dealer? He was, the, was bad the bad guy in Shang Chi ah. on the the scaffolding fight. Got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Yeah, the mask. He looked like he was a grown-up version of the three ninjas all yeah, put together. Yeah, that's cool. That's so cool. Right? A post-apocalyptic right. Black Widow team and scroll biker gang confirmed. <laughs> Jesus. No, Greg. What? Here's what I need from uh, Roger also. Roger, Wait, why, you just... why are you denying my... We're making a tweet deck. I asked you to put a tweet in there. Big deal. Roger, up, uh, you're doing great work. Can you Thanks, watch bro. the Valorant uh, VOD from yesterday and just clip okay. out every time that mike gets killed because it's sure the funniest yeah. reactions it's the best <laughs> it's the, fuck some it, of the fuck f- it's the funniest <laughs> shit fuck it, fuck it. he stands up out of his chair <laughs> Greg, this is what you wanted right nailed it a uh, zombie icarus from eternals will be in as well mm. it's also going to be tvma which is crazy oh, oh really that's actually yeah. really good well, that's the if? most interesting yeah thing. I mean, no, uh, Marvel Zombies. Uh, oh, Marvel Zombies. This doesn't just said it. Really? Wow. Yep. It needs to be. That was intense. That's super mm. cool. I love that. Oh, that's the other thing. It was a great episode. I don't know if you guys saw, but as of today, Deadpool <laughs> 1, 2, and Logan are all on Disney+. Plus. So Hell the world yeah. is changing. We're winning the fight. We're winning the fight. Let these now, kids know. Oh, wow. Are they going to be, like, really good quality? Are we going to get, like, yeah. the IMAX, like, 4K version of... I'm, I, I'm sure... That yeah. Disney would if they had access to that, yeah. Okay. Which God, I, I, I got to rewatch Logan. What a good I don't know movie. that they shot those in IMAX though. I don't think either of those had IMAX. In mm, okay. Hmm. I just hmm. recall some non-Disney products going over there, and you would assume they'd have the best quality. And it's like a 1080p video, you know. That's so cool. That Marvel, Marvel Zombies, Zombies is dope. Also 2024. Damn, man. Do you think Rob Zombie's going to sue him for that logo? <laughs> I don't think Rob got the trademark on Zombie. I mm. think... Uh, I just meant the logo. It kind of looks like a Rob Zombie. Oh, it doesn't does. look like it. It does. It also looks like a Nightmare Before Christmas logo. Yeah. I don't know if I'm prepared for a TVMA scary thing like that. Just watch it like well, you I mean, played we'll that Resident Evil game with the brightness all the way yeah. up. Okay. Hey, <laughs> Click on that BD image. <laughs> we see some B- what if. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Look at that. Scarlet look at Witch. Hit, hit, right, hit a view original for me, Kev. And give me like an open tweet. And, or, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How's that look? How's that look? Whoa, dang. Who's in the back there? Look, but uh, and Abomination's powers are working the right way. Like he's absorbing, right? He's like turning purple. 
Uh, maybe purple. it's just rotted. Never mind. Because, like, didn't know, uh, it doesn't matter. D- ignore that. Hawkeye, a lot of arrows in him. Uh, okay, so Yelena's Asshole. on the left below Scarlet Witch. Mm-hmm. Right? Whoever that white. Uh, no, white that's is. Ghost. Oh, mm. shit. Oh, remember Ghost? She could shift you. <laughs> remember <stuff>. Ghost? Yeah. <laughs> I have not seen Ant Man and the Wasp. Probably since, since the movie came out. <laughs> since we reviewed it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember her dad in that, in that movie? Her dad? Uh, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. Larry. More famous, of course, for Batman right. v Superman, but yeah. It's X-Men cool. 97 time. They just did a video package of the legacy of X-Men, the animated series. Sick. Wow. Wow. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
I think for the first time, it's very appropriate for you to play Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Dude, dude. I... No, that's... No, no, let him feel it out. Let him feel it out. Mm-hmm. Nick, feel mm-hmm. time. I didn't mean musically. I didn't mean Okay, mean. sorry. <laughs> My bad. So we're just uh, waiting on basically whatever whatever the reveal is for whatever. For X-Men, see, 97. X-Men 97. You know, would yeah. it kill him just to kick the panel off with that so we could all just go about our day? Mm, you know? I got to say it for the last. Yeah, that's one thing. Everybody's <sighs> most excited for that, dude. Yeah, oh, I nice. I have a feeling it's going to be early 2023, which is exciting. And I think that because this panel's so long, I think they're going to actually show an episode to the people there. Mm. Oh, wow. There it is. How how wow. soon do you think we can get there? Do you think we can make a flight and get there in time? Oh, damn. Probably not. That's, the image is up. No, I think they're doing it right now. This is cool. God. This looks so incredible. Gambit's the coolest. Uh, he really is. He I really always like Storm's is. costume because it always looked like it was chrome. Mm. Yeah. Because of the it way, like the silver, the shining, the yeah. the shininess to it, the sheen, and she's got her. That's interesting. Her hair is like um, she's got the little mohawk. Long, yeah, she's got like more of a mohawk looking thing. This makes me really want to rewatch the show. That's on. Uh, I think we need to. Oh, we're going to. I just don't know how yet. <laughs> but we're going to. More. How many episodes More. is the total? I think it's like sixty five, right? Yeah, you uh, go through it pretty quick, and they're not yeah. long. They, like sixty five weeks of content, right? <laughs> Let's see. Slack. Where did Slack go? God. They got to get Kelsey Grammer back for Beast. <laughs> <laughs> why did you say it like that? There's 76 episodes. Wait, why did Can you want me to scroll down a bit? Uh, he has pictures that we haven't seen of the uh, because... zombies. There we go. We got the scroll biker gang, and then uh, oh. it, we got Icarus why they as yellow? Because well. well, it's probably green. It's probably just his uh, camera didn't color correct properly. You think it turned everything? Slightly yellow. less green. I, all right. I don't know. It's like mustard yellow. Oh, we've seen this one already. Yeah, we've seen this one good. already, too. Let's go back that way. Yeah, that this way. X-Men 97 stuff is insane. I can't Who's, believe they're actually oh, doing it. That's Eternal? Icarus. Yeah, that's oh, Icarus. Oh, that's badass. How would that's they have scary. caught him? Whoa. You know? He just ate something wrong. You know how it goes right there. <laughs> you dead hand because you're hungry. Next thing you know, you're one of the walking dead. Dead hand because you're hungry. Good you God. see it on the sidewalk. You go, it looks okay, it's, but it hasn't what been a, dead that long. What a horrible statement to just say yeah. there. <laughs> see, the good news is if they do show an episode to the people, I think we get a trailer, which yeah. would be mm. fucking awesome. Uh, they just revealed Nightcrawler. From the, Fuck from yeah. The, <laughs> Nightcrawler. Night, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is one of my favorite characters, but it's like, these are just... Slightly different versions of the character we know, right? Because like eh, it looks pretty similar to the I love Nightcrawler it. and Sunspot are joining the team. Cable, Bishop, Forge, and Morph with the changeling Morph. look confirmed. Morph. Cable the theme of so why cool. do we need the X Men will be explored. Mm. Bishop is so sick. Bishop, Bishop is such a video game character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's got that cool. Ta- like, does he? Is he the one with the cool tattoo on his eye like this? Yeah. Magneto is yeah, the new leader sick. of the X Men. I love that. Magneto? What is this? Oh, yeah. Because, More, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't back? at the end of yeah, well, at the end of the original one, he goes to space, right? Professor yeah. X is like gone. Oh, my God. Look at that dope That's suit. That's nasty. That's dope. They got to get the dude. They got to get a dude that can do the accent still. They can't well, play the straight. It's got, he's got to be like. They're getting the, the all the, the cast back cast, that's right? alive and. Um, the only difference is Jubilee's voice is now going to be a, an Asian woman. And the original Jubilee voice was a, a, a white woman that's going to voice mm. someone else. Juby. Julie B. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those, Nick, <laughs> where it you perfect. inbounded the ball of the tin at the baseline over there and <laughs> Threw it all the way to the end of the court, and I just did the weakest play. Yeah, yeah. It still went in. Still went in, though. Still it went in. It it went in. But, but you lost 104 to 62. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's at the buzzer? <laughs> Could we go back to that uh, tweet deck? They, I think they showed Cable and all them. Yeah, that's, that's sick. sick. Oh, right. dude. Right. That's cool. Morph. 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 Is who's that, on the, is who's on the far left? Morph is on the spot, right? 
Oh, second yeah. spot. That's more from the uh, second to the second left. Second spot, right? Yeah. With no hair. He looks like One Punch Man. That's great. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, he's probably mid-morph. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> well, so we it's got cable great forward. observation. Great. We that? think Who's it's the guy in the middle? because of the jacket, right? That's Cable and then Bishop's cable on the right. Cable and Bishop. Who's, and no, I'm sorry. Who's the guy right next to uh, Nightcrawler? What's his name? Oh, I don't know. It, it's Night something, right? Because Bishop is Bishop oh, and Cable Nighthawk? in the middle. Is that is that Nighthawk? I think so. It Fat. was always so cool because they always got to wear Everyone's like variants. Forge. Oh, Forge. Oh, Forge. Forge. That's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, who's really really cool? What does Forge do? Wanna, uh, Forge he, he can control like technology. Like he can build te- like crazy technology. He's like Bishop super smart, can, essentially. And Bishop right? goes through time, but he was also a tech guy. Too, <laughs> he buys right? kids Whoa. cigarette. Look, Look at the image of Magneto. Yeah, that's what. Can we bring the, the one we already little, pulled up? Yeah, you looked at that. Bring it up full screen yeah. now because that's it's close. It is closer. You're right, Andy. Sorry. Nightlife 2021 says uh, in the chat that this is. Oh damn it! I just lost this. Oh, the Trial of Magneto comic line from the early from the early 80s is what inspired this look. So cool. He kind of so looks like cool. Scarlet Witch. Oh shit! Basketball kid confirmed. Oh, oh nice. Awesome. Mm-hmm. That's him in the picture with a bald head. Finally getting his due, you know basketball kid we were looking for that storyline to wrap up in a satisfying way like he andrew garfield he was the kid that blinked and could change the tv channels right <laughs> <laughs> okay so i was wrong about some shit gene gray will also be on the main team now we're going to watch an animatic of some of the show which is not reached final animation stage so Damn. I'm, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say what that. everyone's what everyone's thinking. Oh, we don't, we Real quick, we don't you're need... the hero, Nick. You're the hero we need. Go Thank for you. it. We don't need to go through the Jean Grey Dark Phoenix scene. We don't need any of that stuff again. Okay. We've done well, it. what if it's we see it done, done well? No, but the, no, the animated it can't guys, be done well. We're done. The animated show already did it. So it did. you're right. Like we we've already We done don't it. need to see I'm just telling him right now, I'm putting it out into the world. Let's go a different way with Jean Grey. With I want to see it done well in 16 9 ratio. Fair enough. Also, for just just throwing it out there, if we're doing what ifs, I would love to do another season of Wolverine and the X Men. I really liked that cartoon. I thought, I thought you were going to say really the good. kind of funny animated show. <laughs> no, that was <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah, pretty that cool. was hell on earth. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's great. But Nick, pull, we've though, learned Nick. so much. Because that's what I always love when someone else takes over the X Men. Like, I, and that gives me when Wolverine had to take him over. That was so cool. Fun. Stone Mike Mike says, who the fuck is basketball kid? And Corey Cutting says, thank you, Stone Mike Mike. Wow, yeah, we really? got some wow. fake kind of fake fans. fans. Fake ass fake fans here. Fans. Jesus. Mike, didn't you get the list of required watching before you got hired here? It and was just one list, bullet point. It said everything. Everything. <laughs> as much as you can consume without your eyes popping out. Real fans know who basketball kid is. You, you tell me, Mike, you don't know the Mangoes reference either? Get out of here, clown. Oh, Mike. Mike definitely doesn't know the Mango reference. <laughs> oh, he sees a something. mango with a hole in it, he's eating it. He's going to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, somebody already put a hole in this for me. It's not work. It's perfect to eat. <laughs> Don't eat the mango. (laughs) (laughs) I thought thought, Uh, he was eating them. You think he's fucking him? (laughs) The uh, uh, footage, a sentinel appears in it. Oh, I love that. This is so cool. Oh, what do you all think about this rumor that the Thunderbolts are building sentinels in, uh, or, or, or a sword rather? Swords building sentinels? That's cool. That, that's, that's, wouldn't so, it have been an aim thing? Or wasn't that... Uh, who built the sentinels originally? That was... Uh, Peter I mean, I think different right? Trask, people, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trask, that's what Trask. it was. Not but yeah, right. it's, it's being adapted for the current MCU now, which is... Yeah, Andy, I think the rumors you're talking about, it was uh, the dude from WandaVision and then the, the woman from Miss Marvel that seems to be... That was up to no good. <laughs> the bad mm-hmm. damn. Department of Damage Control people mm, and like them cool. kind of teaming up and, and doing stuff, but that'd be fucking cool. I just man, I, I'll thing. tell you what, man. Like scary. I love Days of Future Past. I love <laughs> the Sentinels that were the brought were uh, cool. it like that that movie is fucking awesome. First class and Days of Future Past are two of my they're favorite good. superhero movies. Yeah. Baconator, man. No. So no, no, no. Oh, Some of great. the most important news to come from Comic Con just dropped. Disney Plus is finally rearranging the episode order for the X Men animated series. It has been out of order the entire time. This oh, is very, thank very good. Thank God. It was so confusing when I was a kid watching those things. Even now, you're like, what? what's happening? 
fall 2023. You, you could tell that just like it just required somebody getting into Microsoft Excel for a weekend. <laughs> yeah, not even not even that. They just literally like obviously by the titles you can figure out how this is supposed to go. Do we have heard anything about Mr. Sinister at all? What does that mean? Just, is he coming back? Is he, is, is he in anything? Well, I think we have to bring back the X Men before you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude scared me. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I mean, he also played a pivotal role in the X Men series, right? Yeah, right. Like, he was like he coming was... back. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna come back. No, I mean the X Men cartoon. In the X Men yeah. cartoon, yeah, because he like kidnapped people, right, and like took their mm-hmm. powers or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah that's and, pretty like, sinister. Stole Mister. their genetic material and made clones, like made fake children clones, right? Yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. Damn, I'm bummed it's that far out. When is it? Yeah. I thought for sure that was going to be 2024. I'm kind of blown away. I'm uh, like everything's really far out. I feel like. We got what if early 2023. Great. And now they're showing uh first episode of what if season two. You what if Captain Carter is. fought the Hydra Stomper? Oh, that's right. He was obsessed with Cyclops and Jean Grey. That's right. Because he wanted to make like the perfect mutant, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's so cool. He was right. So cool. Someone's asking if we can add, uh, add Eric Goldman to the deck. Apparently he's tweeting some cool stuff too. No. He's that's the one who got the in trouble security. No? You know? I'm sorry. He's been pulled out of the event. He's currently being uh, berated. <laughs> he's, he's being missing. wailed on <laughs> by Comic Con. Tweet some more shit. Tweet some more shit. He's like, everyone else is doing it too. Like, it doesn't matter. We got to make an example. <laughs> That's the uh, taser. Oh, I thought they were killing him. So it seems like we might be wrapping this up. But we'll hang out for a little bit just to see if anything else pops up. Groovy like a movie. Wait, how, like, isn't this, like, a really long one? Like, is is there not more? <clears throat> I thought this was going to go really long, is what I was saying. Well, yeah, I mean, we just, the, we just reacted for an hour, and then they're about to do a full episode of a show. Uh, somebody in chat was like, Andy, do the X-Men theme and Gerudo Valley. And I was like, wow, they're, they're the same <laughs> fucking notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Gerudo Valley is. I don't know the rest of the notes. That's fucking wow. Who ripped off who? I mean, clearly the X-Men probably ripped off whatever that other song was. <laughs> and, and is it Legend of Zelda, bro? Oh, yeah, X Men definitely ripped that off. They they announced that they're are going to do a season two of X Men as well. Oh, hmm. X Men ninety seven, so it'll be X Men yeah. ninety eight or whatever it is. Uh huh. Sick. Oh, In- dude, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna well, read this here for you. Uh, Sizzle reel of X Men the animated series plays as the panel transitions to the next series, X Men ninety seven. The voice cast is back in the booth recording lines as their characters from the original show. This is going to be the first project since acquiring the rights back. Um, the original creatives from the series stand up for a round of applause. Uh, Rogue Beast, Gambage, and Gray, Wolverine, Storm, Jubilee, and Cyclops are all returning. Awesome. DeMaio discusses growing up a gay adopted black kid in Florida and credits the X Men series for helping him grow up. Rogue Gambit, Wolverine, Cyclops, Jean Grey, Beast, Cable, Bishop, Forge, more for back, joined by Nightcrawler and Robert DaCosta as Sunspot. Magneto's going to be leading the X-Men in Xavier's absence as Sinister is opposing the group. Sinister is back in a big way. He's going to be holding X-Men's fate in the fire and telling humanity to face the future. Yeah, that's cool. See, I just got goosebumps, bro. (laughs) I'll tell you what, too. The fact that they got the Beast and the Wolverine voice actors back, because those are the two guys that I always thought was was just so good. Everyone did a great job, obviously, but like Beast was great. And the Wolverine was, that was always the voice of Wolverine whenever I read any comics or or saw anything else. I was like, Steve Bloom? Is that who it was? Yeah, he was. Um, was I don't, I don't, I I don't, I honestly don't know. I can't remember. And I also love that they're, they're just committing to Wolverine being short as well. That's what he should be. A clip yeah, of early versions. That. Steve Wilmot later. Thanks, Creed. Sorry. A clip of early ep- versions of an episode play. The X Men are fighting against Trask, who's sending Sentinels to attack them. Wolverine climbs one, Beast tosses one, and they take down Sentinels while quipping at them throughout. Uh, the Newton brothers are composing the score for X Men 97, which is bringing back the classic 90s sound with a bit of a modern edge. No. Nope. Yes. Here's the Fuck thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah. The answer is no. It was perfect. Don't even mess with it. Just bring it back. Be like, just tell everyone it's it. new. Just tell everyone it's new. Be like, we do, we totally redid it and just re, just re-record the notes. That's no, but I'm the type, Nick, that like, look, I love I love classic songs. Don't ever remix them. But like, you know, maybe get in the booth and you know, 
up to fidelity. Yeah, up to fidelity is what I'm looking for. That's exactly, exactly what I'm talking about. I want to like be able to pump that shit without being like, like "Ooh, that's a low quality MP3." Yeah, you know, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. Do you think they redo the intro too, where they're all running at each other? Like, oh, damn. Dude. It, yeah, dude, the they're gonna redo that intro, and it's gonna be in high def sixteen mm. nine. It's oh my god, I'm so excited. This is how I've I've always felt about this with um like really any animated uh stuff. Um, like if I had billions and millions of dollars, I would have the best animators reanimate some of my favorite stuff, but like be as true to it, just because I want to see how it looks the the like now. in super yeah super yeah, modern just go back and re- like just go back take the same vo but go back and just redo all just spread it out so yeah. you can see the other sides of the frame I, th- I would love to do that i would also if i had a billion dollars i would green light 30 more seasons of the original tick cartoon because uh-huh. that was the best thing i ever made oh remember Spoon. earlier when, like the amazon prime show they did good they did earlier good. when i was talking about <laughs> but earlier when we were watching the um oh. i am Groot trailer and i mentioned how it looked like it was stop motion. It's because Kevin's streaming to us in 15 frames per second. Uh, Andy, that makes Andy sense. you're acting like the, I have control over that. I have it set to source, which is supposed to be the highest option, right? But you right, can do Andy? source for the resolution and then you can do 60 frames for or 30 frames for the. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Still, maybe just tell him to go back and re render everything to 15 frames. Like, <laughs> that looked, looks it looked good. Very much like Spider Verse, where it was like framing. It was cool. I bet you when I said that, people were like, What the fuck are you talking about, Andy? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Also, stop motion? To, to be clear, Andy, I did, when you said that, I was like, I think that's how we're sending it. Oh, okay. I, I was like, know. It's definitely on our end, is I think what I responded. I'm just looking at the sites now, seeing if there's any interesting sure. quotes or anything that they said. Tidbits. Mm-hmm. Also, Andy didn't know that there was a frame rate option. Like, yeah. I don't, is that a new thing? <laughs> no, it's been there for a long time. Oh, <laughs> Andy has all these secrets. He doesn't Don't watch the us. trailer again at sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to watch it again in thirty. Yeah, <laughs> look at it. Um, Rachel Weiss is in What If season two. Rachel Weiss from yeah, Black the, Widow, uh, the mom. Oh, the fake oh. mom. The fake me, yeah. I need to watch Black Widow again. I had I enjoyed my time with it. I just feel like Me after too. the fact, we immediately kind of went like, eh, mid. But it's like, I, I think it was like, I uh, love average. The first like, few episodes were great. Yeah, I, it was super cool. Oh, I was talking about the movie. What? <laughs> oh, I'm so, so sorry. I thought you meant WandaVision. My bad. Oh, no. WandaVision's fantastic. Uh, I, go, I, I rewatched uh-huh. that recently. but I thought you were talking about Hawkeye, Nick. I thought that's I'm so what confused you were... by everything. We all had our wires crossed. Yeah, did. I was right there with you, Christ. Andy. Thank you, Greg. What I watched Black Widow. To? Oh, you said Black uh, Widow. I'm so in sorry. the last few I months. I had I, when it came. I had it on Disney Plus just run. I was like, I like this movie. It's funny. This is a likable movie. Fun. What's not to like? You watch David Harbour's great. Florence Pugh and uh, Scarlett Johansson just hanging out in the car for a while, talking shit to each other. Great. Uh, terrible ending. I I think we're gonna stop uh, this now and. And I don't think they're going to announce anything after they show the episode. But um, just a, a one little fun tidbit is in this episode, the What If Season 2 Avengers team is Captain Carter, Black Widow, Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, and Wasp. And it's confirmed that Bigfoot exists in the Captain Carter universe. Oh, <laughs> very <laughs> cool. That's huge. Weird thing to say. The news <laughs> we've been waiting for. for. Yeah. Uh, so they're, yeah, like, and, <laughs> they're like, and Robert Kennedy is also alive. Like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> weird thing to throw <laughs> into this universe. <laughs> let's uh, wrap it up, Kev. Let's watch the, the Groot trailer one more time in, uh, in, in the right frame rate, if that's possible. If not, don't worry about it. We can end there. Yeah. Um, can you send that to me again? Mm-hmm. Let me look through Slack. Harry and the Hedersons in the MCU. <laughs> That'd be incredible. <laughs> Just John this <Lithgow. laughs> <laughs> I would I would pop huge for that. That would be a big dream come true for me. That'd be pretty incredible, yeah. But you know, there's already an MCU tie-in. If they went with the Harry and the Hendersons TV universe, then Senator Kelly from X-Men would be there because he was Mr. Henderson. Oh. Why do you right. remember that? That's incredible. I, I was a big fan of Harry and the Hendersons TV show. Clearly. When I made the Robert Kennedy joke, I made JFK Jr. How QAnon thinks that he's still alive. That's what I meant. My bad. My bad. Oh, That's what I meant, everybody. All right, let's watch this. Fast frame rate already. Wow, look at this. 
<laughs> we'll be able to definitively tell if it was a uh, oh, leap so from definitely his butt. not framing now. <laughs> <laughs> Clean. <laughs> 24 frames per second. <laughs> 60. Cinematic so animation. Uh, no, but like, you know. But the movie's yeah. rendered in 24. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, came out of his chooch. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Upon reanalyzing it in higher frame no, rate. There's no, guys, there's no way. It's going to be right next to his butt. God. Okay. Wow, this, is, this animation is very clean. Notorious <laughs> PIG says, this is like when I turned on my PS5 for the first time. <laughs> no, no. They've always seen it the, the right way. Oh, I love it. Don't let them lie to you. <laughs> this is very clean. That's great. That's... <laughs> Perfect. So good. All right, everyone. That has been the Marvel Studios Animation SDCC 2022 reactions. We will be returning tomorrow at around 5 p.m. Pacific to do the same thing for the Marvel Studios live action panel. Um, there, We're not going to be reacting to any of the other panels, the, the Warner Brothers and all that stuff. Um, we have heard or there's going to be trailers for stuff. We'll probably react to those early next week if it makes sense and we, if we have interest in that. But uh, thank you for hanging out. Let us know in the comments below how excited you are to rewatch X Men the Animated Series in the correct order for the very first time. That's cool. Until next time, I love you all. Have a marvelous day. <laughs>